Hi everybody, so in the year 1976 we made this thing and its single claim to fame is its self-starting, which indeed it was. It's a low Reynolds number airfoil that's got a twist on it and I can't say it was shining. I mean it did self-start but I thought it was a little slow for the wind that it was getting and you couldn't really describe that as portable and I've got a bit of a bug in my head at the moment about portable wind turbines and generating when you're camping. So, I designed this thing. This is obviously the turbine bit, the generator section, and then this pretty foot. And the STL files for this are in the description at the bottom. They are, of course, Tinkercad. We made this in video 1966, and I'll put a link to that as well. The generator slides in the foot, that slides there, and we've got a nice compact generator. So we take that off, turn it upside down, and fit it on the cog, and take off the rubber band. There we go. These blades will open when the wind hits them on their right side, like that. <laughs> because it's a drag turbine, of course. If they were open when it came round this way, they were a drag. Because they're flapping, they will actually close, and they will open and close as the wind hits them. So to make this, you're going to need these STL files, and you'll find the link in the bottom, of course it's Tinkercad, you print them off and you'll get a, six of these rods, and this, and this. But what you do is, you'll notice on the two rings, there's a hole nearer the centre and a hole right on the edge. These rods glue into the hole right on the edge, and you glue in all six. You glue in the bottom plate first, there it is, and we're ready to put the blades in. Now the blades go on in the hole that's slightly towards the center and they go on that way around because as they open they'll hit that rod and that will stop them opening too far stop them opening all the way around they can only open as far as the rod and the rod also acts as a support structure for the whole thing so we pop all those blades in and then when we've done that we can slide the top ring on and glue it to the rods when they're on there a little bit of adjustment so you just squeeze it up to make sure it flaps freely. There we go. And then a spot of glue to hold it in place. And this is super glue, which is crazy glue, or an acrylic glue, and then a bit of uh, activator makes it turn quickly. Now what will happen is they'll flap open in the wind, but as they come round, they'll flap closed on the other side because the wind is blowing that way. And it folds up really nice and compactly. That's awesome, actually. This is not a very heavy wind. Okay, that rattling noise is really annoying, so maybe some rubber stops or something like that. <laughs> Definitely some rubber stops. <laughs> Okay, so bear in mind I'm sitting on the ground and this is turning. Now when it turns, it'll be about 7 volts or so. It's a bit hard to test it when you're outside, so we'll probably take it into the lab and test it then. But at least we're showing that it does work in real life conditions. We can get some output of it when we test it in the lab. Okay, if we want to collapse it back down again, fold those blades over, pop your rubber band on, and then slot it down on there. Ta da! <laughs> now, if I were to redesign this, I think I would probably make those blades bigger actually. So I made them a quarter of the outside circle, and you can see that they close to there, and in fact, they would close much further over and give them a much bigger blade angle without increasing the size of this. So, probably a redesigner would make that blade curve all the way around to maybe there or there and that would give us a bigger blade area and we get more torque out of it. Might make it a bit higher as well actually because it only comes down to there. We could of course, 
drop it right the way down to there and then we get again more blade and so we get more output. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.